now to a story of heartbreak and hope. Twin boys surviving the Hamas massacre, shielded by their parents' love. What happened to your family on Saturday? We woke up to uh, literally hell. Devere Rosenfeld lived in Kafar, Aza. The kibbutz where one of the deadliest scenes in this conflict unfolded. Devere hid with his wife and child. But his sister, Hadal, was murdered trying to feed her twin boys. Do you think that your sister was killed when she left the shelter? I know for sure that this is what happened. She went out to bring the bottles because he said that there were bottles on the floor. And when she did, they just got into her apartment. Her body found in the kitchen. Her husband, Itai, found between the beds of their 10-month-old babies who survived. And I know that Itai died trying to protect them. And I can't imagine what he'd been through knowing that his wife just got murdered and his two sons are next to him and he's the only thing between the terrorists and the babies. 14 hours the twins were alone. Yeah. And we, we got like messages from the neighbors. They heard the twins uh, crying, crying for 14 hours, crying because they basically stayed alone. No food, no water, no nothing. No one could leave the shelter to go get the babies. No. Their neighbor uh, tried a couple of times, but every time he did, the, the terrorist just got into the, to his house and tried to kill him as well. I met him outside and he cried and asked me for forgiveness uh, because he couldn't help. I wanted to leave the, sh the shelter to and go there, like, if not my wife. And she told me, like, with all due respect, I understand it, it hurts, but if you do it, they'll live with no uncle and he'll live with no father. The hardest choices. Yeah. Israeli secret agents finally rescued the babies. And they were all wet because of the sweating and the crying. and mm -hmm. So they changed them the diapers. They took uh, clothes for, from the neighbors uh, because they didn't know where the clothes are. Uh, so uh, from, the, uh, from the photo, you see them in pink. We didn't know where the pink came from. Devere took us to meet the twins, their parents not yet buried. A private family, we agreed not to show video of Roy and Guy's faces. The Rosenfelds always believed there would be twins in this generation. And why did you think someone would have twins? Because it skips generation and it comes from the mother. Mm -hmm. And my uh, grandfather, he had uh, two uh, pairs of sisters, twins. And what happened to his sisters that were twins? All of them died in the Holocaust which makes the survival of these twins an even bigger miracle. Donations tonight pouring in. These strollers, car seats, toys. He looks exactly like his dad. Like his dad. But most importantly, the twin boys are surrounded by a large and loving family. They'll be raised with a lot of love and a lot of stories about their, their parents. I think and what's important is to tell them that their parents were heroes. They are alive because of their parents' love for them. Yeah, exactly. May their memory be a blessing. Amen.